chairman of the Corporations Committee, uh, following of David Obey in Wisconsin, invited me to his office, for I was his senior Republican, the ranking member of the committee. He wanted to describe with me uh, what they called uh, the stimulus package. In that initial discussion, the stimulus package was some 200 to 250 billion dollars. He said it was going to be largely applied to infrastructure across the country to build bridges, roadways, and other things that would create jobs. And as he described it, he said, and Jerry, uh, this is so important, I'm not sure it's going to be enough. I didn't hear from the chairman for another four to six weeks, but he asked me to come back to his office again. And he asked me to bring along a staff person who could take notes. Take notes because he was describing to me what was now a $787 billion package. And he described a little bit of what he was talking about, but we had very little of note to take because there was, was not very much information coming to the minority from, from the majority. Nancy Pelosi didn't want us to know what this was going to be about as it was going to come to the floor very quickly. That very afternoon, David Obey and Nancy Pelosi sent out a 23-page press release that outlined those details. And they even then said, and maybe it won't be enough. So almost a trillion dollars in a stimulus package. About half of that money is still in the pipeline, pipeline stuck somewhere, not being used very effectively. Most people, uh, upon an evaluation, will tell us and themselves the stimulus has not worked, and a lot of it has been a waste of money. It's because it begins, in my judgment, with you. But if you're not willing to begin to get not just angry, but be outraged with what's going on with our government, if you're not willing to say to every member who's an elected public official, including me, if you're not willing to do something about this, get out of here. There are alternative choices. There's a reason why the polls are suggesting that about 11% of the American public has any confidence in, in the Congress. I mean, for goodness sakes, people who've been there for years and years and years, continually violating not just the process of violating the law, uh, to, to essentially uh, butter their own bread. Unbelievable, that scene that involves Maxine Waters and, and Charlie Rangel. Charlie Rangel of New York is a very affable guy, interesting fellow, and, and, and he's uh, likable enough. He, he loved to invite his friends to the Caribbean. Uh, he just decided that they didn't have to report uh, the income when he was running that facility when he's away. And this is the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee? I mean, give us a break. It's time to put Uncle Sam on a, a diet and change the scene, uh, not just in Washington, but I think in Sacramento as well. You know that, you know, I love the speaker, so this, this was a pleasure for me. Uh, she invited us back to Washington for just a day last week. So, so we can say hello to each other again. Now, now what, were we, what were we doing there? We were there to pass another $26.1 billion package to deal with some holes in the Medicaid system, to deal with a little bit of lip service to the border, and $10 billion for education to preserve teachers' jobs, they said, across the country. 